Finally, let's push our changes by running the git push command. Don't forget to specify the origin branch as develop because by default, the origin branch is master. Consider this. You want to create your first AWS code commit repository and commit some files using Git. Can you do this in a few steps using the Cloud9 IDE? Let's find out. Let's start by navigating to the IAM service, then go inside your user and head to the security credentials tab. Scroll down to the HTTPS Git credentials section then click on Generate Credentials. Hit Download Credentials, then navigate to the Code Commit service. Click on Create Repository, give it a name, then hit Create. Here, if you look at Step 3, you should see your git clone command for the repository that we just created. Next, let's head to the Cloud9 service, click on Create Environment, then give it a name. I'm going to leave all the other settings to their default values, hit create, then click on open Cloud9 IDE. Let's copy our git clone command from the code commit tab and paste it in the bash terminal window. Looks like our test repository was successfully created. Let's use the ls or the list command to confirm it. Use the cd or change directory command to go inside our test repo. Here, I'm going to create a new text file called readme.txt and save it in the current directory. Use the ls command to confirm that you see your file, then run the git add command to add the readme.txt file to our commit index. Next, let's commit our file by running the git commit command with the hyphen m option to specify a commit message. Finally, let's push our changes by running the git push command to the master branch, which is our default branch. To confirm if your readme.txt file was successfully pushed, head back to the code commit tab and go inside your test repo. Looks like everything worked as expected. Next, I'm going to create a new branch called develop using the git branch command. To switch your branch from master to develop, use the git checkout command. Now that we are inside our develop branch, I'm going to add a new line to my readme.txt file, then commit my changes. Don't forget to run the git add command first to add the readme.txt file to the commit index. Finally, let's push our changes by running the git push command. Don't forget to specify the origin branch as develop because by default, the origin branch is master. Looks like everything worked as expected. Let's confirm this by going back to the code commit tab, then click on branches in the left menu. Verify that you see both your develop and master branches here. Next, click on commits in the left menu, then navigate to the compare commits tab. Select master as your destination branch and develop as your source branch, then click on compare. As expected, you can see the additional line highlighted in green for the develop branch. There you have it. But before you go, here's a question for you. Why did the developer invite AWS code commit to the party?